Electricity is all around us in nature. We see vast amounts of it every time there is a thunderstorm. While many creatures in the world's oceans use electricity, for example, electric eels and elephant-nosed fish. In the modern world, energy in the form of electricity is something that we're using for more and more devices that make our lives easier. For example, computers, mobile phones, TVs, kettles and vacuum cleaners all need electrical energy to function. And our houses and streets would not be lit at night if it weren't for electricity. So being able to generate electricity is really important and is becoming even more so as technology continues to advance. But how is electricity actually made? Firstly, you need a generator. Inside the generator, there are huge coils of copper wire that surround a very large magnet. If the magnet is spun very quickly, electrons flow in the copper wire, creating electricity. To make the magnet spin, you need a turbine. The turbine is made to spin using different methods depending on the kind of fuel it uses. Oil-fired, gas-fired and coal-fired power stations use burning oil, gas or coal to heat a large volume of water. As the water gets hotter, it starts to generate steam. The steam passes through the turbine at high pressure, making it spin more than 3,000 times a minute. The kinetic or motion energy created by the turbine is used to spin the magnet inside the generator, which creates electricity. Oil, coal and gas are all fossil fuels. They're the fossilised remains of plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. When we burn them, they release a gas called carbon dioxide into the Earth's atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is the most abundant greenhouse gas in our planet's atmosphere. Scientists are now almost all convinced that by burning fossil fuels and releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, humans are causing climate change to happen faster than it ever has before in our planet's history. So it's a big problem. How can we create more energy without putting more carbon dioxide into our planet's atmosphere? Well, there are ways of making a turbine turn without burning fossil fuels. But many of these bring their own problems. Nuclear power stations use the heat resulting from splitting the atoms of low-grade uranium to create the steam to drive the turbines. Whilst nuclear energy doesn't emit carbon dioxide, its waste products can be extremely dangerous and have to be stored very carefully, often for thousands of years to come. With hydroelectric power, the turbines are spun as water passes at speed down special pipes through a dam or down a mountain. But although hydroelectric power doesn't emit carbon dioxide when generating electricity, building a dam can flood huge areas of land and disrupt the flow of rivers, causing damage to the natural world in other ways. Two alternative forms of energy that don't put more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere or create other dangerous byproducts, but still use a turbine connected to a generator, are wind and tidal energy. You can find out more about them in our video on alternative energy. To find out more, please visit our website 